Hey, what's going on, guys? We have this question right here. It's asking determine the force in members D, C, H, I, and J, I of the truss. State if the members are in the tension or compression. Suggestion use the section. So, so since we have D, C, H, I, and J, I, um, so we have to take let's take this part separately. These two triangles. So, I'm going to draw them separately. So, this is going to be it. Right and force uh, HI acting this side and this is H right this is H and here we have force DC acting on this side DC this is D and then we have 1200 acting on downside this is G and we have F right here and this is going to be E and 1600 acting downward all of them are pounds so these are the only force that is given and we have to find these two so let's see what we can do so let's take moment around H so if I take a moment around H the total moment is zero in statics let's take count of uh, clockwise positive if I take clockwise positive so total moment movement is zero so if clockwise is acting counterclockwise this therefore it's gonna be negative and thousand two hundred and the distance is we know nine nine feet so we have to multiply it by nine nine feet from here so from H we are calculating right so from H is nine feet so multiply by nine then this one D DC is using this uh, counterclockwise, so this is also negative DC, and this is uh, six plus six plus six is twelve. Twelve and thousand six hundred is pull pulling this object down, therefore it's clockwise and this one is positive. Thousand six hundred and it's in nine plus six plus six is going to be fifteen plus six is going to be what twenty one. So it's in 21, 21 distance. So 1600. So 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 9, 21. Yeah. So multiply by 21 equal to 0. So then if I finally solve for DC, I will get 1100 pounds. So this is my DC and then um, from this information I can find HI. So let's take all the horizontal components, HI is, uh, is a horizontal component so I can use that. So let's take Y components, no verti vertical components. So if we take vertical upside positive, it's going to be 0. So this is acting downward so it's going to be negative 1200 and HI is positive plus HI and DC also positive DC but we have found, found it already is 1100 I plug it here and 1600 is acting downward all of them are equal to 0 so if I solve for HI I will get 1700 1700 and this is pounds right Pounds. and let's find whether it's compression or uh, tension so since we have this one right here um, positive so if we get H, H positive and if this going this direction for example if you get something like this it means compression if you get something like this it's tension if you see this one is uh, pushing th those are going up and uh, up and down so if this is going this mean the opposite is going to be down like that so it means it's a compression DC also uh, HA also same thing DC and HA the both of them are compression so we have found this one now the final thing we have to find is JI so we have found DC HI we have to find JI you see in the objects this is the JI right this part so this is JI 
so to find ji let's draw another diagram right here so if i take ji i have to consider jc2 so this is like this this is j this is i so let's say this is acting this right and angle between this and uh, phi so if this is phi this is going to be phi 2 equal angle <coughs> So what I have to do is let's find the horizontal vertical components. So if I take vertical components equal to zero, so I have to put the same values as before. It's going to be thousand two hundred, and instead of hi, I found hi. It's going to be thousand seven hundred. It's going upward, right? So upward and thousand hundred. 1100 is DC, DC is also going upward and minus 1600 and this is HI is coming downward so I put minus HI sine now this is this is JI HI is this one this is JI this is JC so going to be jc j i sin phi and this is minus jc jc sin phi all of them are equal to zero as we know already we calculated this one before so the all of these things gives us zero if you add them together it's called zero minus j i sin j i sin phi minus j c sin phi all together equal to zero so one more thing we have to do we have to verify this with the horizontal components fx equal to zero so since if you look at this thing um, let's take this there for x positive if you look at this thing whole thing all of them are vertical forces but only these two are horizontal so we so it's going to be j i minus j i cos theta cos uh, cos phi and um, plus j c cos phi is going to be equal to zero therefore we can from this one we can say jc is equal to ji and since uh, this is all of them are zero and if you say vertical component zero horizontal component zero it means those these are zero components there's no force here there's nothing here so it means it's it doesn't exist there's no force it's just a uh, zero so that is the final answer so the question is dc dc we have found here HI we have found here and compression compression and J uh, is a zero component zero zero force components so there's nothing so we have found it I hope you guys like this video see you next time